Hello, everyone. Welcome inside the Red Earth Production Studios for another edition of YBM Cast. And today we have our player spotlight, and I am joined by Ford Zumwalt West Jaguar Daniel Whistler. Daniel, thanks for coming on the show. Yep, thanks for having me. Yeah, man. I appreciate it very much. Uh, like to you guys coming off a, a championship run last year and uh, coming back into this senior year, all that stuff, right? Yep. Feeling pretty good about everything? Yeah, the team's, uh, team's looking pretty good through tryouts in uh, week one, so I'm pretty excited about it going in there. Yeah. How many kids? I'm, I'm just curious. Do you know how many kids came out for, for you guys' tryouts overall? Uh, I think we had uh, 26 come out, and um, so it's a little bit smaller than we had last year. There were a lot of guys that tried out last year, and uh, I think we kept 19 this year. Wow, wow. Very good. And that's just for varsity, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, you guys are uh, looking at uh, another run. GAC is going to be pretty tough, but we're going to start back a little bit here. I always like to do this. You know, we we always played baseball when we were kids, right? Yeah. So, I was like, you know, talking about growing up playing baseball here in Louis, St. Louis, big baseball town, right? Some people call it baseball heaven. Yeah, I think... I think um people don't really understand how good baseball is around here they typically think about the baseball states like florida texas and uh california but uh, missouri in the midwest has pretty solid baseball and it was always fun growing up playing and playing against some high level competition around here absolutely you know if we could play baseball year round i think it'd be uh you know it's easy i shouldn't say easy that's a bad way to put it right but Florida, you got year-round Texas, Arizona, California. You can play year-round. Right. It's hard to play year-round in Missouri, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, even these for this trial, trial week wasn't terrible weather-wise. Um, definitely got pretty lucky, but um, yeah, there's definitely some cold, some cold springs, especially my sophomore year. I mean, it was miserable going out and, uh, for tryouts in week one. So, And some of those early March game or late March games are pretty tough, aren't they? I mean, it, it it's not real warm. Yeah, especially for the pitchers, you know, you get a hard time feeling the ball and getting the grip on it, and occasionally the uh, seams will cut your fingers or something. And I mean, even even as a hitter too, it, you know, puts a premium on hitting that sweet spot. I mean, you get jammed, it magnifies it by quite a bit. And so. then your hands are ringing for the next three innings, aren't they? Especially yeah. that's pretty tough if you're pitching, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to do both and you get a jam shot while you're hitting and try to go back out and pitch. I mean, it's pretty rough. Oh, man. So let's ask, uh, I, what age did you start playing ball, baseball? I uh, started playing when I was four or five. Yeah. Um, I played up a year until 11U, so I played two years of uh, 11U ball and yeah. started getting on some uh, competitive teams at that point. Yeah, yeah. So who uh, I, I want to know was your dad your first coach? Or yeah, he he'd been my coach. He'd been my coach for every summer I can think of. Uh, yeah, except for high school ball, he's always been my coach. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So where'd you guys play? Where'd you guys? What'd you grow up? I I, I assume you started with either uh, like coach pitch or or t ball or machine pitch. Yeah, I went uh, t ball, machine pitch, coach pitch. Um, and then kid pitch, obviously, um, started getting the competitive stuff around 11, 12 U. Yeah, yeah. What club were you with? Um, we started with the extreme, went to the Gators, and then um, we switched over to the athletics pretty recently. So Yeah. So you're with the Nick Herons group over there, correct? Yeah. yeah. All right. How do you like that over there? I love it there. They do a really, get, really good job of uh, recruiting kids and making sure everyone uh, that wants to play college baseball can try to find a spot somewhere. Very good, very good. What was your, you know, I mean, growing up playing baseball here in St. Louis, I mean, what do you look back and think about, you know, with club baseball? I mean, you grew up in club baseball. It was, you know, that's all that was there. So, you know, tournaments, looking forward to it. What was that experience like? I mean, the most of the teams that uh, I've been on, summer ball, it's, we haven't. We didn't really have a whole lot of uh, like coordinated practices. It was mostly just like get stuff on your own until 
probably 15U, but I mean, looking forward to tournaments on the weekends was basically my entire summer. I mean, in between the, the weekdays were pretty boring and as long as I could try to find something to fill the time, it'd be pretty fun. <laughs> Do you play, uh, did you play any other sports? Um, I played basketball for a little bit and then stopped and then played sophomore year as kind of just like a Kind of just like a hobby, try to tell myself that I can still do it almost. <laughs> Keep yourself in shape, right? Yeah. There you go. There you go. So you get into uh, high school baseball, you're at 15 U, uh, soft or freshman, sophomore year, and all that. It's at somewhat west. You, you, did you play on the freshman team or did you go to JV? Uh, I split it probably half and half. Half and um, half. Yeah, I started with freshman and then got pulled up to JV like halfway through the season probably. Wow, wow, very good, very good. So tell me, tell me, what is the biggest difference you've you've found as you've gotten into high school baseball? Uh, what's the biggest difference between summer baseball and high school baseball? I mean, high school high school baseball is just a completely different as- atmosphere. Um, it's a lot more competitive. Uh, I feel like summer ball is, you know, for those kids that maybe don't want to play college baseball, and you know, at least how it was last summer. Um, some kids didn't want to play college baseball. It was really lax, and uh, you know, I mean, high school baseball, everyone's competing for the same thing, and everyone typically has the same goals for the season. And um, you really like it's more of a more of a bond uh, than uh, summer ball. Very good. That's interesting take on that. That's interesting. Appreciate that because when you're talking about your summer team. And you are uh, looking at you're you're with the Adidas Athletics right now. Mm-hmm. Had you you started with you were with the Gators, right? Yeah. So your experience early on in that fifteen sixteen were you just mainly going to showcase tournaments? Um, occasionally. Uh, I think my first showcase was uh, two years ago, so probably around the time. Yeah. Um, I didn't typically start going to showcases until I uh, noticed that like I could probably play college baseball somewhere um, just try to get my name out and stuff um, but it, I mean it was always fun you know try not to think about it as a job and try to just go out and have fun enjoy it I like that thought process let's talk about the season coming up high school baseball to start with uh, you had a pretty good junior year and you were fighting an injury correct tell us a little bit about the injury you had there month yeah, I just had I had a little bit of bicep tendonitis, uh, my left my left shoulder and uh, arm, but um, I also kind of knew that going into that season I wasn't going to have to pitch much anyway, just because we had an, an incredible pitching staff last year. I mean, yeah, you had some dudes. Yeah, we had two first team All Staters and a second team All State guy, and I mean they just knew how to pit, and they knew how to throw, and I just kind of let them do their thing and. Try not to put too much pressure on myself, trying to get back healthy. Just try to do my thing on offense and in the outfield. Yeah, yeah. And you did. Uh, I mean, you hit 363. Um, you had a, a 911 OPS, which is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you'll take that, right? Yeah. <laughs> you had 43 RBIs, man. 11 doubles, three triples, and a home run. So, yeah, you did, uh, you did your thing. Yeah, uh, definitely put together a solid season. Um, noticed towards the end where I started breaking some school records for uh, RBIs and most hits in a season. So it was definitely felt pretty good to put my name in the record books at West. And it wasn't something you just set out to achieve. And I'm sure you set goals for yourself, right? But what it, what was that like when all that start kind of people? I'm sure people were noticing. And as you said, you know, toward the end of the season, it's kind. Of, did it feel? Did you get a little more pressure, or did you just keep doing your thing? No, I tried not to think about it too much. Honestly, I wasn't even paying attention to it until my dad started started looking up the records for the school and made me a little bit more nervous. You know, once he starts saying, you know, you're four hits away from uh, breaking the school record, I felt like I probably wasn't going to get a hit for the rest of the season. But <laughs> uh, thanks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was pretty rough. I was trying to do my thing. I wasn't really worried about it that much. Very good. Because honestly, man, uh, forty three RBI. When I saw that, I was like, wow. Uh, uh, I haven't I hadn't seen a lot of guys 
you know, you get up into the 30s and you're having a really, really good year in high school baseball. I mean, so 43 RBIs, that's very impressive. It's a great year. How do you how are you taking that approach to for that coming into this year? Because you are going to get more time on the mound this year, correct? Yeah, I should be um, I should be getting a significant amount of innings for uh, West this year, and I'm probably either going to hit in the two or three spot. You know, try to get some more RBIs in there. And um, the thing I was really thankful about last year was um, the guy who made it possible is Tanner Perry. He's a great leadoff hitter, so. I mean, it, he starts out with double. It's pretty easy to get him in there. And <laughs> Connor Stein, who hit nine hole, but I mean, was a great nine hole hitter and always got on base, whether it was taking a hit by pitch or just having a good at bat. So I had a lot of good opportunities to get RBIs in there last year. Sure, sure. Hey, I love that. I love that team thought process, man, because it is about team baseball, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, if I if I make a good pitch, I still have to rely on the eight guys that are around me and, you know, have them make a play and just hope for the best, honestly. Yeah, because it's the old line, right? Uh, you know, when uh, from Bull Durham, right? And throw some more ground balls. Yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. more democratic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely – I definitely don't try to be a big strikeout guy. I'd rather get out uh, a seven innings with – 70, 80 pitches, try to take some uh, pitches off my arm and, you know, try to get some ground balls, fly balls, and put them away quick. Absolutely, bud. I'm with you there. I love that. Senior season, you got some guys that are coming back. Uh, you know, you got some uh, – Dylan Bates is coming back. I mean, that's – I mean, he is, his experience there last year, uh, Hayden Wilson, Braden Solter, Kenton Deverman. Another lefty arm that uh, I think is is real. Cooper Robertson. I mean, you got some dudes coming back with you, don't you? Yeah, Cooper. Cooper's gonna. I'm expecting a big season out of him. Um, Dylan Bates is gonna get a lot of time on the mound this year. Um, he's gonna be another solid bat for us. Um, and Kenton's gonna do his thing two way too. So he's gonna get a lot of innings and get a good uh, get a good amount of at bats this year. Um, Hayden obviously can throw it pretty well. Um, mm -hmm. Solter can too. Um, I'd imagine he's uh, going to play college baseball too. He hasn't committed yet, but I'm assuming he will pretty soon. Yeah. Now let me ask you, this is this is the last question about the high school here, and it's just curious because you were able to focus basically on the offensive side of the base, had a great year. What's your mindset going into this year looking at um, – Having to, you're on the mound, you're having that uh, the hitting and whatnot. Have playing both sides of that. How's how how are you approaching this season? Um, I mean, I don't I don't really plan on approaching it any different than last season. Um, because going in to last year, I assumed that I was going to get a significant amount of innings, but it just didn't work out like that. And mm -hmm. so, uh, I mean, I'm excited to get back on the mound for high school season and. Um, honestly, kind of just have a good season. I'm looking at forward to have fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. <laughs> you guys got another run in you? I think so. I think we're going to be a pretty good team. Um, like I said, we had uh, two sophomores on the team that look like they're going to have a pretty good contribution to the team this year, and I'm looking forward to playing with those guys and all the juniors. They – Seem like they're getting along with all the seniors. Um, our team chemistry is already pretty, pretty solid. Yeah. Now you guys got a pretty tough division, Timberland, How, um, How Central, Holt. Uh, my goodness, Troy. They're all going to be good. Everybody's yeah. going to be good. We'll just put it that way, right? Yeah. What do you expect at? Uh, you know, what are you looking at when you're facing some of those teams? I mean. Me and some of the guys have already talked about it. I think any time you put Adam Hackman on the mound, you got a pretty dang good shot at winning a ball game. So, I mean, we think they probably have one of the best one-game lineups uh, around, and they've got Yarberry behind them, and so they look pretty solid. Um, I'm just looking forward to playing all of them. You know, Absolutely. Getting, you know, getting to see what they're like and try to see some of them playoffs eventually. Absolutely, man. You're committed to? 
Uh, I'm committed to Mizzou. So, how's it? How you 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 you're looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, they uh, they just checked all the boxes that uh that I wanted. I wanted to be pretty close to home and play mm -hmm. at a high level of baseball. So, I mean, they've got both, and just figured why not? You know, their school I've always watched on TV, and yeah, you know, just really wanted to be there. So. Southeastern Conference, yeah, it doesn't get too much better than that, right? Yeah. Yeah, right, exactly. So the recruiting process, currently, you know, you're ranked, uh, you're, you're a senior um, in the state, you're ranked overall 19th and in your left-handed pitcher, number four. Um, how was that process? You know, you have prep baseball report, I'm sure there's perfect game and whatnot. How was that process for you, you know, going through that when did, when when you started this, was it sometimes overwhelming? How did it move through for you? Um, it really started to pick up uh, this summer, honestly. I got my uh, first D1 offer from SIUE, I think. Mm -hmm. And then um, they started kind of coming all at once. And Mizzou actually ended up being my last offer um, that I was kind of waiting for because I had always kind of wanted to be there. I got a... Um, an offer from Old Dominion. Um, wow. But uh, obviously, that's, I mean, it's just so far away. I don't think I could have made that work, even though I love their coaches and their program. But Mizzou is really where I wanted to be. And, yeah, it all it all just kind of came this year. That's good. Now, are you going to get I, – I, I shouldn't ask this this way, but do you look to try and, uh, you know – in college, is it pitcher or fielder or whatever works out? Um, as of now, I think I have a relatively decent shot at trying to do both. But, I mean, if I had to pick one, um, I love pitching uh, more. Um, it's one of those things I tell my dad I'd rather be good at something, you know, eight out of ten times would be considered good rather than, you know, get a hit three out of ten times and you're – pretty dang good hitter so <laughs> I like that attitude man I yeah. dig that <laughs> I'm with you and then uh on the mound you have you have a lot of control of the game don't you yeah um I definitely work I'm pretty close with all of our catchers on the team so um they know how I pitch and you know how I take control of the game so and you got Ryan Olm coming back too who was caught last year and you got a couple I get uh, from coach Goff you got some pretty good guys behind the plate for you this year don't you yeah Connor Stein can play anywhere I expected him to get some uh, catching innings this year mm -hmm. Olm Ryan Olm is gonna get some catching innings um and Cooper Robertson's uh, uh pretty good behind the plate too so looking uh forward to that competition for the for the two spot in the lineup yeah very good very good Let's uh, let's think about this. I always love to ask this because I think this kind of finishes those things. We it's student athlete right now, right? Going to Mizzou and whatnot. What are your academic interests? Um, I was probably going to go there and uh, study business. Mm -hmm. um, it's what probably my dad recommended for me. You know, try to get something broad um, that I could go into because um, obviously. Everyone's everyone's first plan is try to see where baseball takes them, but they've always stressed, you know, try to make baseball get you the best uh, education you can. Just set yourself up for after you have to hang them up. So, they my parents have always been uh, pretty on top of me about academics and trying to get a good college education. Absolutely, because it is like and baseball. I mean, that's one of the things they look at is academics because. Uh, it's just necessary with scholarships and things of that nature. It helps, doesn't it? Right. Um, they, the Mizzou coaches definitely uh, um, sent texts out every semester, and at least so far um, since I've committed, they've sent out texts uh, seeing what are like grade checkups and you know send me your send me your grades for the semester in this quarter. So it's pretty nice that they try to keep me on top of it. That's awesome. Because it is life after sports, like you said, right? You're going to hang them up. Yeah, you want to go as far as you can. Do you have aspirations for MLB? Yeah, I mean, I think I think I want to play, um, try to take it as far as it'll take me. But 
that's I mean that's something me and my dad have always talked about because he played triple A ball and mm -hmm. you know not that I want to be exactly like him but you know obviously I kind of want to do something like him try to see where it takes me sure absolutely and I mean that's good experience he has that that knowledge about what it takes to get there too huh yeah I mean he's he's helped me out so much I mean having him as a coach has been really awesome um, definitely loved um, the parent uh, coach relationship it gets hard at times but you know we make it work and you know yeah he's, he's definitely been a great coach mentor and he's just a great guy very good very good Daniel Whistler Thanks for coming on, man. Yep. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. I, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to be following you guys. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get out and uh, get one of your games on our GAC Game of the Week. That's that's the goal. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hey, everybody, uh, Daniel Whistler, Fort Zumwalt West, uh, Mizzou commit. Good luck to you this year, young man. Yep, thank you. Everybody, please uh, comment below. Subscribe, like, all of those sorts of things. We appreciate your support. Um, everybody have a great day in the Lord. And all you pitchers, keep throwing strikes. And you hitters, hit them where they ain't. And we'll see you next time.